Well guys, we're at it again this morning and if you can see, it's starting to snow. I don't know if it's going to make us stop or not. Not snowing real hard, I don't even know if you can see it on the camera, but uh, yeah, starting to snow. It's only like 30 degrees out. It is freaking cold unloading these wagons, I can tell you that much. If you noticed under that front tire, I put a white, uh, it's a white piece of, it's not plastic, I, I can't think of what it's called right off the top of my head. Anyway, I gotta get out of here and unload this wagon. And I tell you, it is chilly out here. The wind isn't blowing very hard, although it has picked up. Gosh, but the air is really damp, it's just, it's just cold. Get this thing going here, you dog is running. This way you don't run clear up to the PTO line. This auger actually seems to auger faster at about 1500 than uh, up at the PTO line. I forgot to turn the hydraulics for the wagon on. Keep forgetting to do that. The level are going. Auger running fairly full. Walk around here and check on the check on the burner. Been adjusting the temperature, trying to get it up to 140. I think I have it. I think I got it there the last time I was up here. Not quite. Still over 130. So we'll turn this up a little. I'm gonna turn it another. days since I started this video and like I said it's just been hard to record anything this this harvest just been boring long boring wet it's been a rotten harvest crops good but just got in the tractor heading down the road here and uh, heading out to the field this might 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 be the last day the two it's a ways off this direction about uh, let's see one two I don't know, three, four miles that way, and then a couple miles that way. And we were over there last night, did, uh, did some, I think there's about 70 acres left over there, and then we have another field right outside of that town over there, which uh, I, think there's, I think there's 80 acres there. I'm thinking we're gonna get done today, but uh, it's kind of slow going. We're hauling up to our bins, and this is kind of a, Kind of a long long way to go so it might go kind of slow i don't know if we don't get done today i'd say we're done by noon tomorrow so guys and right there is where i left last night i had the other tractor which is a little bit lighter not it's not quite as heavy not as much power but uh anyway I darn near got stuck, but we got this field to finish up, then that other field and Harvest 2019 is in the books, finally. Alright guys, just got in here the bin side. Windows are rather dirty. We, uh, we were kind of combining in the rain there a few days ago. Get the hydraulics turned on for the wagon. The wagon door. Get 
get this thing going. Then I gotta get the roof auger started. I'll show you here in a minute. So I fire up the old 4020. bin goes up that auger and up into this bin this bin dries the corn and then it goes around all these other bins in here and back behind here anyway it's in here in this little little house or shed whatever you want to call it building I gotta pull both feet gotta pull that one and this one out and set it for an hour and a half Turns that auger on, that auger on, they're going to run for an hour and a half. Then I'm going to have to look in this bin and see how full it's getting. Because it's going to get full, I think, today. Well, I know it is. And then all that's left to fill up here is this little bin. So we'll get this wagon unloaded and head back out to the field. see out this back one. We got done with that field and just got over here got the headlands off this end and I think he's going down to do the other ones I just I just got here myself and this is it this is the last field we have and I doubt we get done today it's, it's probably going to be tomorrow and it is getting cold I'm not sure what the current temperature is but we're unloading up at the other bin site and that wind the wind and cold just about cuts right through you. It's, it's really cold feeling. I know we've had colder temperatures so far, but it really slaps you in the face. Anyway, the bin up there, and I'll show you that here in just a little bit, but it's getting full. And then there's another gate on the other side of the field here, and we'll start using that gate. And all we have to do is uh, haul into the elevator there. So two tractors will be able to keep up with that pretty easy. Guys, uh, Put the tractor and wagon away. I'm getting the truck out. Had a little issue uh, with the windshield. Yeah, that's not good. Gotta say that's the first time that's ever happened. I passed a, uh, passed a truck pulling a trailer with a skid steer on it skid loader and must have flicked a rock up at me or something just shattered the windshield scared the heck out of me I gotta get in the truck and get going but uh, I'll tell you that little story here in a second 
All right, so made it down here to the field we're in. Made it down here. Got a, got a fair little chunk out of here already. Still don't think we're gonna get it done tonight. Anyhow, I was passing a truck coming from the other direction. He was pulling a trailer with a skid loader on. All I can think of is he flipped a rock up and picked my windshield probably just right and the darn thing just shattered. And it sounded just like a gun went off. It was incredibly loud, scared the hell out of me. But uh, got it home as I was driving at home. At that time, it was just, just shattered. And as I kept driving home, which four or five miles, little pieces would start falling out and then bigger chunks of little pieces would start falling out. And by the time I got home, there was a, uh, a pretty good sized hole in that thing. So now I have the truck. Really don't need the truck down here. We've got two other tractors and wagons down here and they seem to be keeping up. Only problem would be is up at the elevator if they would get, if they'd get bunched up up there with people hauling in. But I just, I don't think that's gonna happen. And once again, I see that I have one bar of battery left. So I'm gonna turn you off for now catch up with you in a minute I might have the charging cord all right guys I'm back in the shop we did get out of the field not quite as planned but we did get out of the field because if you look up at the yard light yes it's snowing out and we're down to I think we're under 40 acres left combine so once we get rolling tomorrow shouldn't take long at all Alrighty guys, final day. We're back at it. As you can see, we got a little got a little snow last night. But we're heading out to the field. That that field is about, I don't know, several several miles off that way. But anyway, I'm heading down there. I got got uh, got this other tractor. The one with the broken windshield is up at John Deere right now. They're gonna get a new windshield in that. It's a good thing it didn't happen three or four days ago. So anyway, getting down that field, there's only about 30 acres left. Shouldn't take, eh, we'll probably mess around for a good two, two and a half hours, I suppose, getting all that done. And then when we get done, take all this stuff, we'll put all the wagons away, and uh, be time to get the, uh, get the disc rippers out. So it shouldn't be a real hard day. Well, this is the only time I've driven a tractor out in the field this whole harvest. We had a tractor that wouldn't start this morning. My uncle went and got that going. I'm just driving down to that headland. I have about half a load on my wagon. Get filled up and head into the elevator. A little greasy out here this morning. That's us right there. We are just about done. That's all that's left. Looks like, oh, I guess there's a little, little spot over there. Not much. Hey guys, that's all that's left. One round. I don't know if I'm gonna get the last load or not. Three of the four, three out of the four last years, I've taken in the last load. I'm not sure how full the auger wagon is or anything. So, anyway, just about done. Gonna get the last load. That's okay. We are one swipe through the field away from being done. All right, guys, so that is it. Harvest 2019 in the books, done, over. And I can't tell you, can't tell you enough that I am not sad about it. This was not an enjoyable harvest. It was, it was a long harvest, a lot, of, a lot of rain, snow. It's been pretty cold and a lot of just sitting around. So I'm glad it's over. My, my dad and uncle, they're in the field right, well, across the fence, but the the far half of it. They're gonna start disc ripping over there. We got the wagons all put away, the auger wagon put away, the head off the combine it's put away. And uh, that's it, guys. But Harvest 2019 is over, and I couldn't be happier about it. So, guys, I'm gonna make me some chicken wings here pretty soon. That video is gonna be going up on uh, on the Fox Shop Barbecue channel. If you're interested in that kind of thing, there'll be a link down below for you. You can go check that out. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. And if you would, give this video a big old thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.